intercooler end tank there and the hose is all soaked in oil. So oil is supposed to be flowing through these intercoolers and through this whole turbo system but you're not supposed to see it on the outside. So the fact that we're seeing that tells me we have a leaky intercooler end tank. Uh, this side doesn't have it, the hose is all fine, etc. But this side, hold it again, you can see it. But it is caked. You don't need to remove the uh, intake box, but I did just as part of me checking everything out and inspecting. Other things for leaks as well and cracks. Um, but that's very simple. You just slide this up from the side. There's a little button you press, undo this clamp, and it literally just pulls out of this and slides out of there. Uh, so that's what's right there. The grill just has one, two, uh, three, and four mounts for that. As you can see on the tabs there, the sides just pull out. This just slides out of the bottom of those rubber grommets. And this is actually really slick. You've got four mounting points um, that you can see. This whole line right here just unclips out of this with a torque screw. And then uh, it unplugs right there. So you'll see the plug right here. And that just quickly unplugs. You just press these sides, unplugs. And that will get you to where I'm at right now. Now if you look down, you can see this looks like how the intercooler is mounted. Um, on the other end, you can see, I hope, it's coated in oil. So I'm going to make sure that that's all I need to remove, but then you can see the intercooler there. I'm going to see if I can remove it without removing the bumper, but it looks like the bumper removal might be required. Let's see. Alright, to remove it, got a clamp there, pop that off. Again, you can see this in tank, not oily, etc. Then, on this side, oil everywhere, same clamp off. It looks like the shroud will just slide down. We should be able to pull it here without removing the bumper. So there's some flex. That'd be convenient. Obviously, we'll clean this all up once we get it out. Uh, let's see. All right, next we'll remove these. You can see this one's slightly undone. I'm just using a flex head, a 12 point, and it grabs that fancy six bolt thing. So, you can see it there. So, remove that. Something to note: these are some proper long boys right here. So, I'm very carefully kind of wiggling this out of the way so I can pull that out. All right, we got it out. So it's just held on by those two bolts. You can remove it without the front bumper. It just slides out right there. And like I was saying, if you look, this is how it should look. And this is how this one looks. So we're gonna pressure test it see what's going on because I bet this is the problem. Alright, now that the intercooler is out, we got a boost leak test this. This is a standard boost leak test kit. Um, nice milled piece here, has the Schrader valve included, the clamps, etc. For the other side, it comes with the standard half pound uh, propane tank to uh, act as a plug as well as the reducer and uh, don't forget the duct tape to make sure that it seals correctly on both sides. So now we're gonna pressurize this up and uh, see if there's any leaks. It's charged 25 pounds in here, no leaks. I mean, nothing. But as you can tell, there's oil everywhere. So I don't know what's going on. All right, since we couldn't find a leak in the intercooler, we're gonna test the hose above it because I mean, there's obviously oil coming from somewhere. And it's fine. So where is it coming from? Tried pressurizing the factory pipe to intercooler. Still, no leaks. 